This episode provides an overview of functions to control exposure and we are going to visualize some interesting effects. The exposure of a video can be controlled in several ways. Adjusting the shutter speed, the aperture, the gain, and by using ND filters or adjusting the light level. By choosing the aperture, you also affect the depth of field. So the aperture should be set depending on the requirement of the scene. The shutter speed defines how long a sensor is illuminated, or in case of an electronic shutter, the duration after which the charges of the pixel are read out. Because the shutter speed can cause highly visible effects, you should handle it with care. We use the Moving Light Studio to simulate real scenes in our lab. When capturing scenes with fast motion, for example football or action scenes, a slow shutter speed leads to blurry motion because objects move through the image during a single frame. A shutter speed that is too short might let the video look jittery. Isolated points of motion are captured per frame and moving objects seem to jump. The gain control adjusts the sensitivity of the camera. The higher the gain, the more the signal is amplified. But a higher gain raises not only the signal, but also the amount of noise. Amplifying the gain by 6 dB is equal to opening the aperture by one f-stop. It may not be possible to adjust scenes with huge contrast only by changing the shutter speed or gain as you can see from the HDR targets of the Moving Light Studio. For example, raising the gain always affects the complete image. So brightening or darkening an image with high contrast will immediately lead to either saturated blowouts or dark areas, in both cases leaving no details. But how to set the exposure correctly while keeping all these restrictions in mind simultaneously? First point, clarify the intention of the scene and therefore the depth of field and choose the aperture. Second point, adjust the shutter speed only when important for fast moving content. For bright scenes, it is better to use the ND filter than to shorten the shutter speed. A standard exposure time is 1 50th or 1 60th of a second due to the frame rate. Third point, it is better to increase the illumination of a scene if it is not bright enough than to lift the gain. This is a balancing act and sometimes a trade-off. But always think of the effects you are creating with a different adjustment and choose the least evil.